the empirical formula of zinc iodide these are the apparatus and chemicals we have filter paper pipette funnel glass and glass rod i mean and beaker and others in terms of chemicals we have a bottle of zinc that is in powder form we also have the iodine that is also in powder form we also have the ethanol which is a solvent it's in liquid form it's colorless it look more like water let's start with our experiment by first cleaning up our beaker we are using 100 ml beaker so we'll use a paper towel to wipe out any droplets that may be inside the beaker or outside the beaker so that it can be dry and clean the weight balance read is zero gram because there is nothing that is on the wind balance but the moment i put my clean beaker the reading goes like this 52.44 let me record on the table this is my table i'm going to record that value which is 52.44 gram that's the mass of the beaker alone now this is my zinc it's in powder form so i want to add uh 0 0.54 gram of zinc so what i will do here is that i will cancel the mass of the beaker that already existed there so i will press a tab button then the mass has been cancelled it went to zero even though the beaker was still there so i will add my zinc powder i need 0 0.54 gram of the zinc powder so i will keep on adding until i got the mass that i want i will add it bit by bit or gradually so slow by slowly so that uh, i can get the desired mass that i want if i were to add a spatula in its full capacity i may encounter a challenge whereby the mass read more than what is required or more than what i need that's why i prefer to add it bit by bit I will keep on adding now it's approaching 0 0.54 that i need yes that's the mass that i want as far as this experiment is concerned so i will record it down and write mass of zinc and remember this is the mass of zinc alone which is 0 0.54 the mass of the beaker is not accounted for here because i press a tear button so it's not accounted for but we know the mass of the beaker alone is 52.44 so on my table i have to find the mass of the beaker and zinc so i just have to take my calculator and add the two masses the mass of the zinc and also the mass of the beaker so i'm pressing a calculator here to find that mass and it read as follows it's 52.98 that's the mass I have iod iodine, iodine this is my iodine it's also in powder form so i will add it on the solution but i will press a tab button first so that i cancel the mass of the zinc meaning that if i press a tab button mass of zinc mass of beaker is not accounted for this reading will be for the mass of the iodine that i am adding so for iodine i want to weigh 1,03 gram so i will add it gradually so bit by bit as you can see i don't want to add uh, uh, the spatula being full to its capacity because i don't want a situation whereby i add more than what is required because you can see that already the zinc is already mixed with iodine so if i add more than what is required I'm going to have a problem because I can't take out the iodine that is already there on the beaker because already it's already mixed with the zinc. Yes, this is the mass that I want. I want 1,03. I will record it down and write it here to say mass of iodine is uh, 1,03 gram. That's the mass of iodine let me use a calculator to find the mass of the three combination 
that's the mass of the b car plus the mass of the zinc plus the mass of the iodine i want that combination mass so when i press the calculator i realize that the mass is going to be 54,1 i am mixing these two solids which is iodine and zinc so i'm using a glass rod to stir and mix the two i will also have my ethanol this is the ethanol that i will use so i need only 10 ml uh, of ethanol to add on this beaker i'm adding so each pipette here this plastic pipette it uh has a volume of 2.5 mil so i can only take 2.5 mil at a time meaning that i will add four of this plastic pipette can you see the reaction is nice it's reacting tracings are reacting we have zinc iodine and ethanol i can see a nice reaction here i'm even stirring we have to stir You must continue stirring and also adding the ethanol drop wise so i'll keep on doing that and also stirring at the same time so that uh, these two solids will dissolve let's keep on stirring we will keep on stirring non-stop for now so that the zinc and also the iodine will dissolve the volume of the ethanol that is required it's only 10 ml now let's weigh a filter paper we have the weight balance is at zero so we'll put the filter paper on top so that we can get the mass of the filter paper alone so once we are done with that we'll record the mass on our table the mass of the filter paper here it is we'll record it on the table so that we can use it while knowing its actual mass from there we're going to fold the filter paper let's fold it in half then quarter it from there we can uh, design it in a manner that it will look like a funnel. From there, we are going to put it on. Now, we are about to add our solution into the filter paper there. We are about to do that. Obviously, we can stay a little bit, our solution. From there, we are going to add our solution inside the funnel there so that the filter paper will filter this solution now there are some leftovers there on the beaker because you can see that the beaker is not clean so we'll need extra five mil of ethanol just to wash out the beaker and also the glass rod now the beaker will be clean obviously will be clean then from there i have to wait until everything filtered through 
here i'm interested to find the remaining zinc that didn't react remember zinc will react with iodine and it will go through so i'm preparing my oven here so that it can be at 100 degrees celsius while my solution is still filtering there i will now be preparing the oven oven is ready i continue filtering it took time maybe about five to ten minutes a reasonable amount of uh, liquid will have gone through the filter paper but my interest here is the residual zinc that will be left over the filter paper there not what went through this one is the one that reacted The liquid one is the one that has reacted but i'm not interested in this one i'm interested in the one that is on the filter paper here this residual zinc that is on the filter paper is the one that i am interested in that's the one i'm going to put on the oven so that it can dry out and all the liquid will evaporate So I keep on wait, waiting, waiting for it. If you check it out, it's going through dropwise until you see that nothing now comes out. So from there, I have no choice but to take it out, to take the filter paper out. The filter paper has a residual zinc. Oh, I realized that there were some leftovers. There were still some liquids there, so I have to wait a little bit. Then, at this point, after some time, I realized that uh, it's like everything went through. All the liquids went through. So I took it out of the funnel and I unfolded it. And this is what I found now i am going to put this in the oven here it is so that it can dry out there it is on the oven i will close the oven after some times obviously it will dry out then i will took it out and go and weigh its math. So here it is. My weighing balance is at zero. I'm about to weigh it. Now I weigh it. The mass was 1,30. That's what I got. 1,30. From there, I have to record it to say residual zinc plus filter paper. That's the mass. 1,30. 